Hello and welcome to EQ Magazine, India's oldest and largest solar media. Today with us we have Mr. Sai Charan Kupili. He is South and Central Asia head from Jinko Solar. Welcome, sir. Sir, briefly explain about Jinko Solar. So Jinko Solar is global leading module manufacturer, not just in providing PV kind of solutions, but yes, specific to all kinds of new requirements of the market. We always try to venture in that particular thing and try ourselves to be as a kind of technology leader in those kind of segments. And since we are a kind of vertically integrated manufacturer, right from the uh, ingotization, ingot to wafer, wafer to cell, and then cell to module, we make ourselves to be as a kind of technology leader, which is why you can see all kinds of N-type technology products. Whatever we are providing to global market is completely catering the needs of uh, specific requirements, not just limiting only to utility scale. But yes, even for the DG kind of segment or ESS or even C and I kind of markets also, it's it's catering the needs. Uh, sir, I would like to know about the new products you are displaying at your booth. So specific to new products, as we very well know that the entire market transformation or market share is completely limited to P type kind of technology, which which is used to be there with our Tiger Pro series of 540, 545, 550 kind of power plus. And now last year, uh, during Q3 of 2021. We ventured with uh, our our Tiger Neo series, which is typical uh, Topcon kind of technology, which comes with second generation N type kind of technology, which is again there with all kinds of high efficiency, which is which generally comes with better power density and better energy density, with reduced degradation factors, which completely increases the reliability factors of the product, which is what is required for any kind of any kind of applications for that particular matter. So that way, we easily could see that the transformation of the market from P type to N type is going to happen within a span of one to two quarters kind of timeline. That's what we expect for Indian market. Uh, sir, my last last question is: Which technology is going to be in ESS? So specific to ESS, uh, yes, we are, we are a technology provider, not just limiting ourselves to PV kind of thing, but yes, even in ESS also, starting from residential energy segment, which is RESS, where we 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 provide solutions as a kind of cabinet kind of solution starting with kilowatt hour kind of requirement till megawatt hour with a containerized kind of solutions and within that what we notice is that existing nmh is not going to suffice the market needs and requirements and definitely the kind of lithium uh, instead of going with titanium it's going to be lfpe which is which is one kind of technology which really can make much more sense when compared with any any kinds of core requirements as per the rt requirements whatever is coming from the existing rtc tenders or seki tenders or ntpc tenders all these particular tenders makes more comprehensive sense specific to rtc tenders kind of thing on ess segment so that way we easily could see that lfp technology is going to rule the market on these kinds of ess market requirements thank you so much sir for joining us thank you